Great looking, attractive, professional YouTube thumbnails will really increase your video views. I'm going to show you how to make them for free, but the first thing I've got to tell you is that you've got to take selfies of yourself because I'm going to show you how to put your face on a YouTube thumbnail, how to cut it out and how to put an attractive looking headline. So take as many selfies of yourself as you can and do it like this with your face quite close up to the camera with a very contrasting and constant background to your face. That will make it easier to do the cutouts. I'm going to show you how to do this using free software, remove.bg and Canva, the free version to do the design. If you find this video useful, please like or subscribe to my channel. And below this, I have links to free courses to help you get started on online business. Okay, so we're gonna start with an image of me and we're gonna get that cut out. If you Google something like remove background from image online or something like that, one of the first results you get from that search is remove.bg. I've found this one to work pretty well. Remember. To make sure there is great contrast between your face and the background in the image and then you should be all right so let's upload that image so it's uploading it and there it is looking pretty good so we'll download that so now we go to Canva okay so remember we're logged in with the free plan we don't pay Canva any money and we create a design and we want it to be custom dimensions to get these dimensions, I always Google 16 colon 9 because those are the proportions of the image we need. So if you look up the Wikipedia entry for that and down here, you'll get the dimensions for images that are 16 9 in proportion. So we're going to go for the 1280 by 720, but it could be any of these sizes. In Canva, we go 1280 by 720 create design. So here is our template. So all we need to do is create the image here. So what we're going to do is upload that image that I cut out at remove.bg. So I go to uploads here and then upload an image or video and we'll get that one we just did. So there it is coming in here. So now it's come in, we can just drag that over to our template on Canva. Make the template a little smaller. You can use Command minus to make that smaller. And then we're going to make me bigger, the face much bigger. Make it really big. Turn it around if you want. Make it even bigger. So mostly when we're creating thumbnails, we have a, a large profile image on the right, leaving a little bit of space here for the time. Then we're going to put a headline here, not too close to the edges, but that's the general idea for successful YouTube thumbnails. Have a look at the background, although I'll probably decide on the background color later, but let's put it in black for now. And then we go to text. All we need to do is add a heading and then type it in. YouTube thumbnail in. So now what we're looking for now is a condensed sans serif bold typeface. What we want is very bold, that's a bold sans serif typeface, but it's not condensed, it's actually extended, it's kind of stretched out. Condensed it means we want it squeezed in. So let's go back to Norwester. First of all there's too much space in between the lines, so we look at the line height, which is here. There, we want to squeeze that up as much as we can. So that we've got a problem with this word thumbnails. Can't be squeezed anymore. So we can move the head a little bit to the right. And it's got to be like that. We can't make that any better. Of course, you can change the background. You just go into the background and then select another color. And then if you wanted to change the text, select all the text and change the color here. Another thing you can do is you could get the YouTube logo. So if you go to Google and just Google YouTube logo and then look for one that is a PNG. So if you go into the types and choose transparent, that's perfect. So we'll save image as and then if you go to Canva, again, just go to uploads and upload that image. So delete YouTube from the heading, move it down and then we'll bring the YouTube over, that a little bit smaller. 
and you'd want to change the background of course. What's great there is it, it's actually taken the, the colour out of the photo so you realise that that colour is going to be exactly the same as the red on that YouTube logo so that's awesome. So then it will just be a question on choosing your best background. Have a look at the design at different sizes and decide whether you like it or not. And that's it. So all you have to do is download. Download it as a PNG, the same size as we did it in. Don't bother to compress the file and don't bother to make it a transparent background. That will be a perfect PNG for you to upload at YouTube. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like the video or subscribe to the channel. Down below the video, I have links to free courses that will help you get started with online business and making money from home. My name is Rob Coven. I'll see you in the next video.